Hello, today I'll be taking you step by step to setting up your Expo React Native project. To start, we create a new folder for our project, so we call it a demo app and we open in VS Code. So we first open in terminal and okay, nice. So I'm going to be doing this in my VS Code terminal, in terminal, and to commence, we initialize our projects with the yarn, create, expo, app. So since we are doing it right here in this folder, I'll just do dot slash. So it is going to take some time, so I pause the video and we get back. So it's all done, and as we can see, Expo created, uh, added some prefit code, like it's installed the Expo router, and also configured the TypeScript, but we would um, clean the project folder and remove some prefit code. So what we do is to do yarn run reset project. Do you want to move existing file? No, we want to delete everything, so no. So yeah, so everything is deleted. Next, we want to configure the with CSS using native wind. So we are going to install some packages which are required by native, native wind. So I'm going to put a link in the description to an article where you can just copy and paste the, the commands. So, so we click go. So it's installing so we have to wait for the packages to install and yeah and we get back again so it's all installed now and the next thing is to initialize our tailwind css and to do that we just run this command npx tailwind init so this would create uh the configuration files that we need like the tailwind config.js uh, however, if this doesn't work for you, you can just uh, create a new file called dewidconfig.js. So next, we are going to copy this code. So we are going to replace the entire code here with this. Uh, let me just uh, shift this a little bit. Yeah. So we are going to replace it with this. And next, we create a CSS file, global.css, at the root of our project. So, global.css. And we are going to also put this into the file. So, next, we need to configure Babel. So, Babel is a compiler that makes JavaScript backward compatible. Uh, so to do that, we create a new file. So babel.config.js. So we create a config file and we paste this code right there. Yeah. So next we configure our Metro bundler. So Metro combines all our JavaScript code into a single file to optimize the code. So we create the new file in the root folder. You could either create um, metro.config.js or the best approach is to just uh, go to the terminal and we just MPS expo customize metro config.js. So, yeah, it's done. And we go to our metro config.js, we replace it with this file with this code. Yep, so it's all done. And uh, next, we need to um, let TypeScript recognize our native wind correctly. So we need to create a a native wind native wind env dot d dot ts file, and we have to add this code right there. So this way, TypeScript. Um, recognize our native width correctly. So to be able to use our um, 
to be able to use our tailwind we need to import it in our layout so you need to import our global.css in the layout so go to your app to import global.css dot dot slash global dot css yep so it's all done now so that's how to set up for the tailwind next we need to set up ESLint, Prettier, OSCE and so on so to do that since these are development dependency we are going to install all these so same thing the link is in description you can just copy the code and paste it it's quite much so we want to install ESLint version 8.5 Prettier, OSCE and so on and all the other uh, packages so while it's installing i pause the video so it's installed uh next so let's start with configuring our es links let me close all this first and yeah so to configure es links we need to create a configuration file which is dot es link es dot json and just copy and paste this code right here so basically ESLint it enforces coding standard and it's a patch bug earlier so for my rules uh, we extend expo and prettier because prettier will be used for formatting and no console meaning we don't want console log but this time I did not put it to error but just for this sake but you would like want to put it to error but I just put it to one for this also we don't want to have any unused variable also you don't want to have any unused imports and so on like that there are so many rules you can put you can just check the docs for whichever rules you want but just for simplicity we use this one uh, next we need to um, tell ESLint the environment we are working on so we have to go to our metro.config.js and at the top right here we put this so to tell ESLint that we are working in the node environment. So next we need to create a uh, like an ignore file so dot ESLint ignore dot no just just ESLint dot ignore. So just copy and paste the code right there. Voila. So we want to ignore these um, files and folders next so we are done with ESLint we need to configure our prettier so we create our configuration file dot prettier rc and yeah so we just copy and paste the rules so prettier is basically for formatting so we define all our formatting preference and option like we want single quotes instead of double quotes trailing commands we don't want any trailing commands and so on and for our thing with senses we need this plugin which we already installed previously so just like ESLint we also need to create a prettier uh, ignore file so dot prettier ignore and just like um, ESLint we copy and paste the code it's the same so next we need to add uh, utility scripts in our package.json so we add the scripts for the linting for the formatting and for typescript check so you go to your package.json and you just um, append this to your package.json script so from the links just copy and paste this so what each script does so for the links we check uh, for linting issue in our code to fix the linting issue use lint fix for prettier to for the formatting issues and to fix the formatting issue and typescript check to run a typescript check and we don't want to emit any file so now that we've uh, set up the linting we need to integrate the pre-commit tools like the lint staged and commit lint so we are going to work with OSCE now so to configure lint staged we need to um, create a configuration file so let me just close this one to create space nice 
so we need to create a lint stage configuration file so dot lint stage rc dot js so same we copy the code right here and yeah so we want to do for the lint stage you want to run uh, TypeScript check they want to fix any linting error or formatting error and if it's just only markdown or a json file we only want to fix it we don't want to um, do linting for it and in our package.json we need to update it also so you go to because we are working with pre-commit so before we commit our changes we need to run lint stage so put the comma and yeah so pre-commit lint stage so next we need to configure our commit lint so commit lint it enforces us to commit with conventional standard for example let's say we are working on a feature like authentication so we commit like feature create auth logic for example so we commit with conventional standard so to do that we need to create our um dot commit lint rc dot json so these are configuration file and we copy and paste yeah exactly so let's terminal let's shift this a bit down nice so we can have a clear view so these are the um rules for example if you want to work with you are working with a feature you use fit then the commit message fix style revert refactor and so on so to go further we need to configure oski and to initialize oski it's pretty straightforward just yan oski oh sorry oski in it so it's going to um create a oski folder right here yeah exactly it's going to create a oski folder with a pre-commit uh, file but we'll get into that so first let me close all these so we can focus nice so first we check our package adjacent so because we run um yarn oski in it it created a script for us so to prepare but because we are working with yarn uh yarn doesn't support prepare so we have to change it to post install yeah so post install next the command also created a pre-commit file and we are going to change this to yarn pre-commit instead of yarn test so once we run yarn pre-commit it's going to trigger lint staged so next we need to create a commit message file in the folder so we add the commit message file and we need to add the script to the file yep so it's done so yeah and that's it so now we need to test what we've done so far so we have successfully set up the project now with um, the tools so first let's try to first let me clear the terminal first let's try to run yarn lint to see if we have any um, linting error so let me just so so far we don't have uh, we don't have any linting error i guess uh so let's create an error intentionally so let's come here and probably just put like a const error equals to or oh, let's just say const a equals to one so for example we say we don't uh, want on use variable if you look at it so first we are we get the es lint um, warning because we set it as warning instead of error so to check we say yarn lint 
so see we get the warning that we have an error so the LinkedIn works so what else we can try is our pre-commit book so we want to follow conventional standard so for example let's say we want to uh, push this code so it'll be like uh, JIT add yeah also JIT commit now let's use a, a wrong way of um, committing our code so let's say foo this will fail yeah it should definitely fail uh, tech, tech, tech. Wait. yeah this should fail because we should only have um, types of chore dogs feet uh, fix and so on so also and if you check the link staged it's actually marked everything correctly even though we have a, um, a warning but because it's just a warning so first let's first of all change this to error uh, let's go to our es link and let's change uh, on use bar to error error yep and let's test the the linkedin stage again we should get error from here uh, no. so the link link stage still comes with success oh i think we need to so probably you need to restart the terminal and uh, oh also we already um added it so we need to do another JIT add since we made some changes so we need to add it to JIT and now let's test this okay I think this time let's test with uh, proper commit message uh, so fit um, yeah, let's see chore sure. setup project this should not go well because link stage will come with error exactly so there is an error because we already changed our es links to uh, produce error if we have any unused variable so now to clear that we could uh, just remove this or we could use link fix anyone now let's um, test again with the proper commit message oh again we need to uh, add to the JIT. We need to update it, and yep, this should work now. Voila! So there it is. We have our, our, our message properly committed. So we've committed our code. We so we can push and whatever we want to do next. And yeah, so that's it. Uh, bonus just to explain how the setup works so we have our OSCE and basically it triggers two scripts the commit message and the pre-commit so the commit message makes us make sure we follow conventional commit message standard using the commit links which we already configured and secondly the pre-commit so before committing our message it also runs the pre-commit um, script which we already configured in our package JSON, and if you look at it, our pre-commit um, script runs link staged, which we already configured right here. So we want to check, make a TypeScript check, and also check for LinkedIn and Prettier, and we already configured all this pre previously. So and yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you very much. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and see you on the next.